Yes, hello there. So I'm going to do a quick video on this PlayStation 4 joypad of my friends who's lucky enough to have uh, blown it up. He plugged it into his Samsung Fast Charger and now it doesn't work. So I said I'll have a go. But either way, I'm going to strip it down, put it back together. New batch in, so you never know, might help somebody. And change the analog pads sticks because uh, knackered, a bit of wear and tear. And the R2 buttons seem buried days. It's a bit of cod finger there, he's been hanging on for dear life on that last shot. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty of it myself. Anyway, so I'm going to turn it over. We've got four posi screws, these little tiny little bastards. So what you need is a really sharp little posi driver to get in there. Because if you round these off, pretty fucked to be fair. So let's see if we can get these out as quick as I can. So I don't bore everybody. Try not lose them like that. Okay. One, two, and three. And number four. Let's try this as quick as possible. Let's see. I'm just watching a boring long video with some bloke with a droney voice like me. It's my fault, something weird area. Anyway, so what I try to do on this is sort of pinch these if you can. You can see, yeah, pinch both sides. We'll make a couple of cracks and bangs, but don't worry about that. They will go back together, trust me. I've smashed quite a few of them. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I'm going to do any careful as well. And over. Ah, there it is. This little rubber barrier is the reset. That's your reset, so. Make sure you put that back in after. I keep forgetting. And that goes, I'll show you in a second. Make sure you pull this tab, don't try not to bend it. Make sure it went as well as the blue side facing out. Let's just pull that one first. Okay, that takes the back off. The little blue LED fingers. I'll strip that down in a second anyway. So, put your battery out. Makes me a bit of a pain in the arse, try not to snap them. You little bastard. There we go. Did that. Alright, that little rubber thing we showed you before goes there. A little bit of gold is. Put it in there. There's only one way it'll go. That's your set button. I'll keep that handy. Alright, there's also a little screw here. If you can see it. You need to undo that. So you can take the dual shot part out. The sticks and everything else like that. So let's get that out. That's one part. Keep that. Screw separate as well, it's a little bit different than the four you got before. Right, and then you've got another blue tab there. I can't really get confused on that one. So you can pull it out. I don't think it's a little bit big. If you can't, all you'll have to do is take the battery cradle off. Just in case you just. That's my pirate. Thanks, Buzz. Okay, it does come off. I've just been a pain in the arse today. Fine. There we go. Right. There you go. Right, easy. You got it now. There you go. Once that's off, you can pull. Oh, this should come out of one. To be fair. There you go. Just like that. Yep. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. No reason to hold PlayStation 3 ones. A little spring there. That's fell off. I'm guessing that broken R2 button's put to the side. All well, this is pretty straightforward. You know, they pull off. You know, you've got your buttons behind there. Let's see. I'm going to pull that apart because it's a waste of time. And, you know, then we can really do it. So, yeah, that's your buttons. That's your D pad part. Your share button, your option button. PS button, and your trackpad. It turns out to come off. Simple as that. Okay, you just same way, you get that, put it back in. Yep, over like that, down, done. Okay, let's turn that around so you can see. So, you know what I mean by your buttons. So, I don't need that now, so I'm just going to put that there. A bag of spare parts, and you can get all this crap off of eBay. Like I can say, if you can fix your pad, say you're 50 quid. I first going to smash tons of the fucking things. I'm just a bit of a tit, really. So, stick a 
you two new dual shock sticks on. It's just easy to pull, just be careful, but brute force and the two. Okay, and they just there's only one way on, so you can't really get confused with them. Just give them a quick turn until they line up and push. Any little fuck on. Every time I try and do these on. I don't think professional ones look a dick. There we go. Yep. So just be careful with that. So, yeah, I'm a nightmare for pulling the dual shocks off. So they're done. So I'm just going to put this back on now. I'll do the R2 button next. I'm going to do all of them. There's no one broke one, so we just, you know, just fix what needs fixing. Really? Okay, put the little blue tab. Yeah, back in. Okay. Go on, it'll be a pain. Yeah, it's not to be a bit fiddly, sorry. I'm taking too long. Go on, go on. There we go. Yeah, try not to push on too hard if you can, because if you bend that, you're buggered. And you're replacing that. Alright, so I'm going to put this screw back in. I'll put the cradle back on actually first. It does line up, there's some holes to line it up to, so it'll only go in one way. And then you've got your hole there. So put your screw back in. That'll hold all that down, then stop the buttons popping out, or you know, I think it would just be a pain in the arse when you're trying to do something simple. So I'll get that back down. They go mega tight, but you know, secure enough. Right, let's do this R2 button. Okay, this one's snapped, so let's pull it out. You can see what's broke there. No, just there, snapped. I've done the same thing myself, just pull it on a bit too hard. Okay. A spare one. I did hit a spring, didn't we? So. You spring, I'm pretty sure on this one, yep, yeah, goes on the right hand side. You see the two little notches there, you can very clear on the camera, but yeah, so drop your spring in there, fiddly frigging thing. Alright, and then just pop it back in over the button. Yep, yeah. there we go, springs pop back out. <laughs> Bit fully these springs kind of pain the arse. Right there we go. Get that down like that. Let's see if we get a spring and that's it. <laughs> Do it again. That's it, try to get the spring trapped between the plastics. Okay, this is pretty simple, just be a fiddle bit times. There you go. Good as new front of it is anyway so let's do this quick a bit quick right I'll strip it on quick and put it back together okay get the front bar off there's two screws on the top all right this is the charging port and for the LED port at the front I think it drives you mad when it's dark Two pieces, two screws. Okay, two screws on top. Take them out, put you know whatever. Well, leave them like that. And this piece, I find the easier. These bits are sticky. You know, trying to prise them up. If you just, you know, poke your finger through there, knock that out, and just pull that back. You don't knack because it's got two little tabs it lines up on anyway. Yep, and then you know, let's come straight out. Two little screws, silver, so you can't mix them up either, which is good. Okay, that one there. That's gonna be a bit tricky sometimes. So just trying to nudge it from the back, trying to ease it out, lift it up. 
I actually broke this before. Need one of these. Uh, bloody tape. Oh, that's not even sticky. No, it's just being fiddly. Come on. Up you come. There we go. There you go. Straightforward. Pretty easy. Okay, and it goes in exactly the same way. Don't force it. It does get trapped a little bit sometimes. Yeah, it's lined up properly. It'll go through. Alright, now it just falls on them two little tabs there. If you can see, there's one there and one there. So I'm two wrong. You're laughing. Put your two screws back in. So you have to replace this part, but you know, I've got one to hand. Why not? And if I wasn't so pissed, I'd be able to hold the screws. Here we go. Just magnetic screwdriver. Okay, again, just put them in tight, but not that tight you crack the board or thread anything. Okay, there's one. Two. Right, next part, put that back in. Straightforward, and this over the two tabs. You can see there and there. I've flat it over, it's a bit more stickiness on them, so I'm back down. Right, that goes back on, make sure it goes on the right way, and then this goes along the top, and those are into place, and all those knots. Put your two screws back in then. There we go. And I don't even need to drink more or less. It shakes. <laughs> right, there we go. There's that part. Right. Battery first, actually. Might be easier. Let's just slip straight back in like that. Little two prong thing. Shoot down. It clicks. Get there. Remember which way it was. I just push that back in. Right, there we go. Yeah, don't ram it. If it doesn't feel like it's going, just stop, pull it out, and dry again. There you go. Don't need much force on it. Properly, so I'm gonna pull it out. Yeah, it's all right. I did that right the first time. I just went down a bit more. Never mind. You know, it's worth checking this before you do it. And I forget, because I keep forgetting this. Reset button. It was in there where that little bit of gold is. It says it's up anyway, reset, so can't go too far wrong. Just drop that in there. It'll only go one way, so don't worry. Alright. I find it's easier if I put it over the top and the shoulder buttons first. Try to get them in. Yeah, once they're sort of lined up. And then pop around. Yeah. And then just sit, pop it down. Push a mess. There we go. Pretty much back together. Right. Sorry, so I'll do that so I can screw in. One. There 
and there we go all back together yeah let's make sure your buttons are yep done I done let's watch you quick I'm just plugging this into my laptop so it does actually power up as you can see for some reason it just won't work with the PlayStation so maybe I'll get around to fixing it another time when I've got some more parts well, there you go right well there you go one PlayStation 4 joypad pulled apart and put back together hopefully this might help somebody or not so like subscribe follow comments time to fuck off I'm quite easy anyway peace out that's it I'm through